two, baby. baby. SpongeBob conspiracy number eight. All Let's right, see it. So this time, instead of ending with the big twist, okay. I'm just gonna open with it. Okay. The Flying Dutchman is the ghost oh. of Patchy the Pirate. This what? is a claim that makes absolutely no sense. At all. They look different, they act different, and most importantly, Patchy the Pirate is alive at the same time we see the Flying right, Dutchman. Facts. It would be impossible to prove that they're the same person, right? Yes. Well, you know, I like a challenge. Let this me. is the time traveling ghost pirate theory. Time traveling? Okay. You mean the big tentacle monster in my basement? Yeah. Uh oh, film again. How do you know about that? I have one too. What? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The muse. They they each have their. So muse. yeah. When you say you have a muse, you mean you also have a creepy monster thing in your basement giving you SpongeBob theories? Well, no, it didn't give me SpongeBob theories. It got me in my commercial jobs. Yeah, I didn't gave even know there else. was more than one. I have like a thousand questions right now. Like, what exactly are they? Where do they come from? What do they want? Oh, um, I probably don't know that much more than you. Mine just showed up in my house one day and eventually it left. Wait, you, you don't want left? it to leave? And you don't have a muse? No, I just kept giving mine meat, it got me a permanent job, and then it left. Listen. I know they seem really weird and creepy at first, but honestly, they're just here to help. Honestly, but didn't you have to? If you had that in real life, would you want it to stay or leave? The muse? Yes. That motherfucker got go. He got to go. Gotta go. What y'all? What y'all do? If it's giving well, you, if it's, if it's, <laughs> if it's giving me million few ideas, <laughs> you know, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. go get you a cat. <laughs> to feed yours like more than just meat? No. What have you been feeding yours? A cat. Mine ate a cat. <laughs> Hang on, you gave your muse a cat? I didn't feed it the cat, okay? It, it was in my cat. home and then it, it took it, okay? It wasn't my fault. Okay, well, obviously you don't have a cat in your home when you have a muse. Listen. The framing. Just look. keep giving it meat, and uh -oh. eventually it'll leave you with enough SpongeBob theories to right. last you for years. Mm. Mm. Where does Alex go after this? I, don't, I know that's a question know. he's racking his brain. Where know. do y'all see him going after Short this? films. Because obviously SpongeBob theories can't last forever. I mean, they could. And it's done wonders, but, but where does it go from Short here? films. Short films. Short films. He, he takes he takes his, his short films to the next level. His core audience that genuinely loves him and the content he makes. They push his short films. They push his short films. Because he has the gift. He has he it. He has it. He has it. You just got to take it. Because I think, I think if I remember correctly, he's shooting all this with a GH4. Mm. <coughs> it's the old school. Not really, but. Hey, so I've been thinking about things and uh, I'm willing to oh, I got the continue shirt. our relationship, but things have to be very different this time. No more eating living animals. Let's just stick to the store bought meat, okay? That nigga's like, deal! <laughs> oh. Number eight. Okay. Ready to go. Uh, great. <laughs> Glad we're on the same page. You know, I'm I'm sorry about all the shouting and the craziness. You know, I won't have. Oh, he's you what? Bro. What? Oh, what? I think if we just communicated <clears throat> better, we could have, you know, avoided a lot of the issues that we were having. Oh. But I'm glad we finally have an understanding. Oh. <laughs> Son of a gun. He's in the whole house. Oh, that's oh, no, oh, no, no, that's the other move. That's another muse. <coughs> oh, oh, wait. Is okay. he infected? Before I get into how these characters connect, I have to explain the tragic backstory of Patchy the uh -oh. Pirate. Uh-oh. Okay. I'm Patchy the Pirate, the president of the SpongeBob SquarePants Fan Club. Patchy the Pirate is the president of the SpongeBob Fan Club, and right. they often cut to Makes him sense. during special episodes to host the show and talk to the audience. He fits in perfectly with my television theory. He uh -huh. clearly works for the in-universe SpongeBob SquarePants showrunners as some kind of mascot for the show. Boring! Well, if it isn't my less than amusing sidekick, Patty the Parrot. Patchy is this weird, lonely guy whose only friend is a talking parrot who's constantly harassing him. And I'm also pretty sure Patchy wants to eat him. Shivery what? Timbers, it's Patty! <laughs> I wonder what parrot tastes like. <laughs> but that's not what this theory is about. If you rewatch all the episodes with Patchy, you start to notice a bit of a disturbing development with his character. Oh, Patchy snap. has devoted his entire life to SpongeBob, okay. but that devotion is very one-sided. And the more time that goes on, the more resentful Patchy becomes of SpongeBob. In the season no. three episode Party Pooper Pants, Patchy 
Patchy throws a house party and tries to invite SpongeBob, but he doesn't show up. Doesn't show up, obviously. You didn't bring SpongeBob with you, did you? <clears throat> Gee, I sure hope he got his invitation. I'd sure like to go to this party, oh, but I can't read actually... the invitation. Oh, but man. Patchy doesn't really seem to be that upset about it. Ah, well. But then things start to take a turn in the episode The Sponge Who Could Fly. Patchy follows a map and goes on a crazy adventure to find the legendary Lost SpongeBob episode, and after finally getting it, this is what plays. What? That's it? What? That's the Lost episode? He's angry. That was just a bunch of cheap walk cycles! What a rip! So, Patchy got let down uh -oh. by Spongebob again. Uh -oh. But I'm sure he'll get over it just like last time. No. Nope. SpongeBob betrayed us! I'm sorry I ever started this Oh, oh no, 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 it's not that serious! Patchy has a full-on mental breakdown. <laughs> now, eventually, yeah, he does find... <laughs> <laughs> He's a tough as draws! He's a tough as draws, bro! Did you pick it up? <laughs> boy, you couldn't hit the button, boy! <coughs> it wasn't going back! That nigga ripped off his draws! But I'm sure he'll get over it just like last time. <laughs> SpongeBob betrayed us! I'm sorry I ever started this stupid fan club in the first place! Patchy has a full on mental breakdown. Now, eventually, oh, he does find he the real Lost episode and goes back to normal, <laughs> but this is just the start of Patchy's transformation into a much darker just character. Stuff is building in the up. season 6 episode, okay. Truth or Square, up. Patchy throws a massive television extravaganza to celebrate 10 years of Spongebob. There okay. is a ton of production value and celebrities that Patchy managed to get. There is no Whoa, way Spongebob what? wouldn't show up for When was that? Was the broad the broad day. Day. <laughs> what? Right. Spongebob Squarepants! What do you mean he's not coming? Ten years I've been president in his fan club. And he Patchy has up. dedicated That's ten crazy. years of his life to SpongeBob, and he can't even be bothered to show up once. Mm. And this never even gets resolved in the episode either. Mm. Patchy tries to find SpongeBob, thinks he's about to meet him, but then it turns out it was all just a dream. Mister, are you okay? Dang. Thanks. What did he? He <laughs> fell through the roof. No, it's just me. The guy in the penny. Patchy's one-sided obsession with SpongeBob is making him delusional, and this is by no means the last time Patchy will hallucinate meeting SpongeBob. In Atlantis Square Pantis, Patchy gets lost in the desert and once again hallucinates SpongeBob. Uh oh. And almost Here ate comes his the hallucination. But he knows it. He's cognizant. It's me. SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> Who did they get to do that? <laughs> but wow. then, in SpongeBob's big birthday blowout, mm -hmm. it seems like he finally really does meet SpongeBob. From your biggest fan. Huh? I have a fan? Ah, surprise! <laughs> it's Patchy the Pirate! <laughs> Happy birthday, SpongeBob! Thank you, Patchy. But even if they don't explicitly say it, this is definitely another hallucination. It's right after he crashed into an island, and it's just a severed head for some reason, and he can breathe underwater. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say yeah. that this is a- And the yeah. fact that SpongeBob knows who he is. Yeah. Hallucination. Yeah. They have another alleged meeting in SpongeBob's Road to Christmas special, but this time Patchy's fully animated for some reason, so I'm pretty skeptical about this one too. In fact, I'm gonna come back to this one. Keep okay. it in mind because it's gonna be very important later on. Okay. So, World as much Christmas. as Patchy worships SpongeBob and wants to meet him, he never will. And you don't have to take my word for it either. In a 2009 WonderCon panel with some of the actors and creators of SpongeBob, they talk about the rules they have for writing the show, including the fact that Patchy can never meet SpongeBob. His character is, has evolved into this pirate that's obsessed with SpongeBob. But he doesn't realize can never... that SpongeBob is a character and he can never Wait, meet him? They said it. Wait, time out, time out. This is the bro. I I kind of hate Alex because he's really good at this. The f like, bro, he dug this up. That's crazy. That is crazy. Right? Well, yeah, they can never meet. There's, there's there's a lot of rules in SpongeBob which are there for a reason. Which I think part of the success in a way. From the very start of his creation, <laughs> they doomed Patchy to be an obsessed fan who would never meet his idol. He will spend Damn, the rest of, of his not. life devoted to Spongebob, but no matter how hard he tries, he will never reach Bikini <laughs> Bottom, and he will never meet Spongebob. Sad. And unfortunately, Sad. that is the tragic story of Patchy the Pirate. But if all of that's true, then I just have one lingering question. Okay. How come the dumpster behind the Krusty Krab huh? has a message that huh? reads, Patchy was what? here? Don't go anywhere, because the time-traveling ghost pirates are really about to get crazy.
Is there some type of SpongeBob community that just points out all this stuff? Has to be. Ooh, he poked him, poked him. Reminds me of Facebook. You might want to get that checked out by a doctor. <laughs> For the SpongeBob band. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That chromatic aberration. Uh oh. I wonder if that was in post or if he had like a Ronin, M- like not a Ronin, but an aperture MC in the fridge. What are you about to make? Are you high? You high on Octopussy? He got the munchies, bro. He got the munchies. That's crazy. That's a he didn't whole waste thing the milk. He just took the cap off. Oh, he did waste the milk. Never mind. No, he didn't. He drunk it, though. <sighs> milk is kind of nasty when you think about it. Depends on how, how where I'm at in life. You better not. You you better okay, not. Liver King. <laughs> <laughs> Liver King beating it raw. Yes. Oh. Don't you do it, Alex. What if he's becoming his muse? Oh, oh, oh. is that watermelon? I hope that's watermelon War, or that's salmon. Watermelon, that would be crazy. I watermelon, even eat salmon raw. I wouldn't even do that. Yeah. Well, if he eats sushi, he eats salmon raw. I mean, that could be watermelon. Okay, I'm telling you, Alex is the king of second storyline. I love this guy. I'll come back to this message later, but first, we have to talk about the mysterious origins of the Flying Dutchman. Right, right, the Flying right, right, Dutchman right, right. is the legendary ghost pirate that haunts Bikini Bottom. In a pirate ship, the Flying Dutchman descends on Bikini Bottom. The first time we hear about the Flying Dutchman is in the episode Squidward the Unfriendly Ghost, when SpongeBob finds a comic book about his origins. It's the origin of the Flying Dutchman. It says when he died, they used his body as a window display. Now Damn. He the seven seas because he was never Damn. put to rest. Now, I've always Damn. been a little skeptical about this origin, not just because it's claiming they put an actual human corpse up That's as display up. in a kid's store, but because the Flying Dutchman himself contradicts it. Hmm, it's a little torn. Of course, it was the shirt I was buried in. He was never put to rest. If he was mm. buried, then this origin can't be true. Mm. So, who is the Flying Dutchman actually? Well, when I rewatched all the episodes with the Flying Dutchman, I kept noticing that he seems to have some kind of fixation with SpongeBob in particular. In the episode Shanghai, he drops <coughs> his anchor on SpongeBob's home, which leads to him having to briefly join the Dutchman's crew. Then, in Born Again Crabs, he's about to take Mr. Krabs' soul, but then immediately changes his mind when SpongeBob offers his soul mm. instead. And even in the Camp Coral prequel show, he haunts SpongeBob as a kid. But strangest of all, in Ghost Host, the Dutchman's ship gets destroyed, and out of all the places in Bikini Bottom he could stay, he it's decides to Sponge stay Bob with SpongeBob. I remember My this. location where I'll be staying? Business or residence? Residence. Mm. And look at the way he the mischievously evacuation. smiles when he sees SpongeBob. It feels like this is personal for him, it but is. why? The episode Ghost Host is actually the first time we get a bit more depth of the Flying Dutchman's character. At first, he spends all of his time torturing SpongeBob, but eventually, he just wants to stay and hang out with him. Maybe stay with a friend for a while. Just for a little while longer. Even though his ship's already been repaired for three months. Actually, I have a confession, SpongeBob. Oh, damn. My ship's been done for three months now. It feels like the Dutchman has some kind of vendetta against SpongeBob specifically, but also deep down, he's just he's, lonely yep, and he wants just to be, be SpongeBob's friend. friend. And does that remind you of anyone? Someone no. who's desperate to be SpongeBob's friend, but also mm. has a deep resentment towards him. Still feel like a reach. Okay, but. There's like a bunch of reasons why the Flying Dutchman couldn't be the ghost of Patchy the Pirate. Yeah. I mean, for starters, they, they look totally different, yes. right? Different shirt, different hat, and most importantly, the Dutchman doesn't have the iconic hook and eye patch that Patchy does. This is the point where I was about to give up and scrap this theory, but 
Then I decided to rewatch the season one episode, Arg, where SpongeBob plays a board game called The Flying Dutchman's Treasure that's right. actually based on The Flying Dutchman's real map. The Flying Dutchman's Treasure Hunt. <clears throat> based on a real treasure map. And then I noticed something. One of the game cards actually shows a picture of the Flying Dutchman. I mean, look, he clearly has the same nose and face as him, but this looks like a picture of when he was still alive and had a darker okay. black beard. But the okay. hat he's wearing is not the usual Flying Dutchman of hat. Of course not. It is the exact same hat Patchy the Pirate wears. Okay. okay. But he still doesn't have the eye patch and the hook hand, right? True. Well, yeah. He but wouldn't. Here's the thing. Neither does Patchy. Yeah, Patchy's he, hook it's, it's is like, always switching hands, spikes. and he constantly takes off his eye patch because Patchy isn't a real pirate. He's, yeah, he's just pretending human. to be one. The great thing about Patchy is that he lives in Encino, California, <laughs> <laughs> but he's a pirate. But the only thing that makes him a pirate is that he says he's one and dresses like one. Exactly. <laughs> okay, fine, but but the shirt, the shirt is still very different. You know, the, the really. Dutchman's is all open and it's got those stripey things. Patchy's is more fancy with the big white puffy collar and cuffs. Yeah. Well, in the Curse of Bikini Bottom, we see the Flying Dutchman's closet and he pulls out the exact mm. same shirt that Patchy wears. Mm. Same fancy puffy collar, same cuffs. <sighs> Fine, okay? Maybe Patchy the Pirate really. and the Dutchman look the same. We're going but with it. That doesn't No, because they, they bro, all pirates wore the same thing. All and Blackbeard was a real pirate. His beard was black. So it the flying Dutchman could be Blackbeard. <laughs> or Davy Jones. Uh, who knows? Or Jack Sparrow. That's yeah. that's who it is. It's Jack Sparrow. It's Johnny or Depp. Apache. It's Johnny Depp. The same person. It's time we address the elephant in the room. What's that? The Flying Dutchman can't be Patchy's ghost because Patchy is alive at the same time we see the Flying Dutchman. Like, in order for this theory to be true, Patchy would have to die and then the Dutchman's ghost would show up. But they're yeah. simultaneously existing at the same time. Patchy even shows up during an episode all about the Flying Dutchman and he even calls it his favorite episode. We're gonna see me favorite show, Shanghai! Ta-da! It is physically impossible right, for Patchy right, right, and the right, Dutchman right. to be the same person. But there's a twist. <laughs> or is it? Things are about to get stranger. What you got? Thank you once again for supporting us at Happy Meat Farms. Together, we're building a better future. Cut! Um, let's move on. What is this look phenomenal? The production quality out the God roof! Damn, Alex. Hey, Victoria, uh, I tried to work things out with the muse, like you said, and then I'm pretty sure it, like, bit me or something, and now I'm, like, feeling really weird and craving raw meat. Uh, could you just call me back, please? I'm starting to freak out a little bit. Where have you been? I've been trying to call you all day. Hey, sorry, I'm at work. Okay, so like the muse like bit me, I think, and now I'm like craving raw meat and- Yeah, I know, I got your messages. Just calm down. This is a good thing. How is Why? this a good thing? How is this a good thing? It's almost over. Okay, <coughs> here's what I need you to do. Uh oh. The lighting, man. She knows the secret. The framing. I love this guy work. It's amazing. It's about time. Oh, it's about time. Man. When I rewatched all the episodes with the Flying Dutchman, I noticed something strange. In the season seven episode, The Curse of Bikini Bottom, the Dutchman gets a girlfriend, but starts to freak <laughs> out when she wants to get married. She wants to marry me! I ain't the marrying type. But the Dutchman not being the marrying type isn't entirely true. Back in season three during Ghost Host, we see that the Dutchman was once married. Is that a wedding ring? Oh, this shows nothing. All right, but so what? You yeah, know, this just seems gonna... like a small continuity error between seasons. No surprise for SpongeBob. But in the season six special, SpongeBob versus the big one, there's an mm -hmm. even stranger mm -hmm. moment like this. The Flying Dutchman bumps into Mr. Krabs and says this to him. Ah! He's a Flying Dutchman! Ah! He's some guy I've never seen before! But you've he seen says him before. He's never met Mr. Krabs before, but there are it's two obvious. full episodes from previous seasons yeah. dedicated to the Dutchman trying to it's steal Mr. Krabs' soul for it's being too greedy. They're even on a first name basis. <laughs> Eugene Crab. 
Dutch. He's some guy I've never seen before. All right, so another weird inconsistency with a Dutchman, but I'm still. I had to grab a bite to eat. I'm starving. All right. So fuck, fuck the rest of us, huh? Uh, yeah. They hungry, Still Michael. not convinced that it's not just lazy writing, but back in The Curse of Bikini Bottom, there's a moment that cannot be written off as another continuity error. SpongeBob and Patrick accidentally shave off the Dutchman's beard, and the Dutchman claims the beard won't grow back for another thousand years. Your beard will just grow back. You know nothing of my facial hair. It'll take a thousand years for my beard to grow back. Hey. But by the end of the episode, we cut to several months later, and his beard is back. The curse will wear off when my beard grows back. Back. Several months later. She wants to marry me! It's not like this is just some plot point they forgot about between episodes. This several months later is in the same episode mm. where the Dutchman says the beard takes a thousand years to grow back. It'll take a thousand years for my beard oh. to grow back! Every Time is different. Later. Why the Time fuck would they include this line if they were just gonna contradict? And like, why the fuck? <laughs> Calm down, Alec! a few minutes later in the same goddamn episode. They even blatantly mention that it's several months later twice, as if they're trying to make you realize how inconsistent it is. Several months later. Well, here we are several months later. So what does any of this mean? Why are the writers of SpongeBob intentionally making the Flying Dutchman as inconsistent as possible? Well, the only way that this makes sense to me is if we're seeing the Flying Dutchman non-chronologically. And by that I mean the Flying Dutchman is time traveling. Just, just bear with me for a second. For Spongebob, only several months have passed, but for the Dutchman, it actually was a thousand years later. The Dutchman didn't recognize Mr. Krabs in season six because for him, this is the first time they've met. And from his perspective, the episodes where he tries to take Mr. Krabs' soul haven't happened yet. The Dutchman's not the marrying type in season seven, but he probably actually does end up getting married to the giant monster. And that's why we see him with a ring in season four, because the past is the future for the flying Dutchman. Okay. Whoa, 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 How whoa, are you gonna whoa. make okay, this work? Okay, let's, uh, let's calm down for a second. This, uh, yeah, this is like, time is linear. Time is linear, even though they've shown time travel before. In SpongeBob, how the hell is he just traveling through time willy nilly? Because if he went to one part first, how? Time travel? What you mean? How? Bro? How is he time traveling, Michael? I don't know. He about to. That, that's that's what I'm saying. It don't if make he sense. Time traveling. He time traveling. What you mean? But how that don't make traveling? sense. The only way he what. If you say his ship is a time machine, Alex, I'm gonna fucking fight you. Second there, Alex. This time travel idea does fix a lot of problems with the Dutchman's continuity, but claiming a character has time travel powers is a major leap. I I'm mean, saying. don't get me wrong, the Flying Dutchman is a very powerful ghost. He can teleport, he can shapeshift, he can grant wishes, but we've never seen him manipulate time. You get three wishes. Wishes? I wish we had known that earlier. Okay, you got two wishes left. Huh. Okay, so the Dutchman's time traveling. And you know what this means? The Flying Dutchman could absolutely be the ghost of Patchy the Pirate. And I'm gonna prove it. Let's see it! Prove it. Prove it, Alexander. If that's your real name. <laughs> <laughs> that thing got you looking <sighs> fucked up, my boy. Tired of your stuff. Help me fund my film. Help me fund mine. Oh, hey Alex, what's up? Hey Wes, uh, sorry for just barging in on you like this. Um, I was actually wondering maybe if you wanna watch my new SpongeBob theory. Maybe give me some feedback. Dude, yeah, absolutely. I love those videos. Come on, man. How's the uh, film thing going? Nice. Oh, you know, uh, funding's a nightmare. Sure, you figure it out. Um, so just uh, give it a watch. Tell me what you think. And uh, is it cool if I use your bathroom? Yeah, no problem. It's, it's just right through there. So cool. Uh, I guess enjoy. All right. So this time, instead of ending with the big twist, I'm just gonna. Oh, he's leaving it there. He's he's giving him a muse. Mm. <coughs> So she left it with him? That's what I'm thinking. That's best. That's messed up. Oh, I love lighting like this. It's so hard to practically light like this. Like, 
Like I've been struggling trying to figure out how to light a certain scene, and lighting like this is so freaking difficult. Now you see. Throw it up. If Patchy the Pirate eventually becomes the Flying Dutchman, that means at some point in the future, Patchy is going to die. Also, Except, how does it get here's the thing. I think Patchy is already dead in present day, and mm? we have already seen his death on screen. Mm? Remember that Christmas special I told you would be important later on? It's the season 13 episode Spongebob's Road to Christmas, and as of recording this, it's the latest episode in the Spongebob timeline. Spongebob does meet Patchy in this episode, but for some reason he's fully animated instead of using the usual live action style. Oh hi Spongebob and Patrick, it's me Patchy the Pirate! It honestly feels kind of creepy for some reason, especially since the creators themselves said that Patchy can never meet Spongebob. Well, they can never meet, right? Well, no, yeah, they can never meet. Is it possible that this isn't the real Patchy? Well, the last time we saw live-action Patchy was in Spongebob's Big Birthday Blowout, and that episode ended with him being fired out of a cannon and crashing into an island. Oh, that's where he died. <laughs> Immediately after that, Patchy's severed head shows up and meets Spongebob. But I already explained how this is clearly just another hallucination, and he's probably just gonna wake up on the island disappointed that he didn't actually meet Spongebob like every other time. But what if this is something more than just a simple dream that he can wake up from? I mean, the Whoa. last shot we saw Whoa. of the real Patchy was Whoa. him and Potty face down in the sand Whoa. struggling to get out. What if they didn't? And this is what Patchy is hallucinating as he dies. During this hallucination, he begins singing the show's theme song with Spongebob to wrap up the episode. Oh, who's having a birthday under the sea? Me, 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 me. But as they're singing, we briefly cut to this horrifying shot Whoa. of Patchy's body with Potty's head lying on the Whoa. island, violently Whoa. convulsing in pain. Whoa. Whoa. Yo. It happens so quick that I didn't even process it the first time. But goddamn, that is some terrifying Whoa. imagery for a kid's show. Why the fuck did they show this? Is this some kind of PG symbolic way to show Patchy and Potty suffocating to death in the sand? Holy shit! <sighs> okay, so <laughs> let's up. say Patchy and Potty, the host of the SpongeBob SquarePants television show, <laughs> what happens now? Well, the show must go on. The SpongeBob SquarePants television show has to continue without him, but they need a new host to replace Patchy. Except, are they really gonna tell their young audience that their beloved Patchy the Pirate and Potty the Parrot are dead? No. no, they're gonna replace them with animated actors. And they're using actors. <gasps> hey, that's showbiz for you. But what happened to the real Patchy after he died? Well, he became a ghost and could finally meet his idol SpongeBob, except when he goes to Bikini Bottom, what would he see? SpongeBob and all of his friends partying without him. Patchy dedicated his entire life to SpongeBob. He even died for him, and SpongeBob never even knew Patchy <clears throat> existed. And that resentment that's been building up inside of Patchy for all of these years finally explodes. And this is how Patchy the Pirate becomes the Flying Dutchman. Patchy is done pretending to be a pirate and dressing up in his fake costumes. He gets a new look, a new identity, and now he can finally live out the fantasy of being a real pirate. Remember that board game that they said was based on a real map from the right, Flying right. Dutchman? Based on a real treasure map! We never really did see the map that it was based on, or did we? Remember when Patchy was looking for the lost Spongebob episode? He used this map to find it. Now at first I thought these two maps didn't look all that similar, but the more I looked at it, the more my mind was blown. Same red X in the middle, you got the compass, mm -hmm. the palm trees, mm -hmm. a turtle, mm -hmm. a fish, mm -hmm. but most importantly, they both have the forked tree. Half a league to the forked tree. Look for the deacon's goose through the fork in the old tree. That is oh a very specific God. detail. You would not just That's see that on crazy, any random map. Dude. The flying Dutchman based his map. How the hell bro. do they write this stuff? It's crazy. Like, 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 like it's insane. It, I'm, I'm just going for, you know, 
Idiosyncrasy idiots. I'm going for idiots. I'm going to see SpongeBob flip some cheeseburgers. <laughs> and this is y'all right. <laughs> off of the one from his past. So he's become the Flying Dutchman now, and his main target for haunting is, of course, the one who ignored him his entire life, SpongeBob SquarePants. But how did Patchy become such a powerful ghost who can even manipulate time itself? <coughs> exactly. Well, there's actually an episode in season 12 called The Ghost of Plankton that gives us a pretty clear understanding of how ghost powers work. It basically just takes time and effort to grow your powers. Patchy's already given SpongeBob 20 years of dedication, might as well go a little further with it as the Dutchman. Patchy travels back in time to visit all of his favorite, most cherished SpongeBob episodes, including his favorite episode, Shanghai. Yep. We're gonna see me favorite show, Shanghai! Except now now, he's not just watching the episode, he's the one in control, and he's gonna make Spongebob pay for everything he's done, and he's gonna make him pay over and over and over again. But then, we get to the episode, Ghost Host. Patchy initially moves in with Spongebob to torture him, but as much as he tries to deny it, deep down he's to be still that devoted fanboy who just mm -hmm. wants Spongebob to be his friend. As much as he wants to pretend to be the Dutchman, hey. deep down, Patchy is still here. And that is why, if you go to the Krusty Krab after closing, and you go out the back to the dumpster, you can still read the words, Patchy was here. Yes, he certainly was. And this that, ladies insane. and gentlemen, is the time-traveling like no ghost sense. pirate theory. Thank you very much. Oh, what about Potty? He died with Patchy too, right? What, what the hell happened to him? He just added the uh, box. Uh, I, I can figure this out. Just give me a second. Let me just quickly rewatch every single episode of SpongeBob. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Gotta watch the spinoffs too. Okay, let me see. The mother ate him! Oh. I wonder what parrot tastes oh. like! That is the time traveling oh. ghost pirate theory, oh. baby! I am done! Oh. Oh. Whoa. See ya! Whoa! Hey, yo! Whoa! Thank you again so much for watching. This was an especially tough one to figure out, but hey, I think it all came together in the end. If you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications. I've been your host, the SpongeBob guy, and I will see okay. you next time. But he died in your basement giving you that action. <laughs> giving you that work. He died in his, uh, our attic. Hey, Alex. I finished the theory. Pretty good stuff, man. <laughs> you thought he was taking a poo? You doing okay in there? Get in there, boss. Interesting looking back. Oh, great there, shot! Great ass shot! Oh my god, that's a great shot! That is that's a great. Oh my fuck. Alex! I love you! Alex! Alex! Alex? Alex? Oh my god. Oh. Hi, Wesley. What are you doing down here? What do we see? Sorry. I must have got lost. Mm. Th that's okay. Uh, I, I finished the video. What'd you think? What's on his eye? Hey, is, is everything okay? No, not... Oh, okay, nothing's on his eye. Is everything okay? Why wouldn't everything be okay? I mean, come on, dude. You're... You're acting weird. You know, you're right. I have been... feeling weird lately. Wesley, I have a... confession to make. I didn't come here to... show you a video. What did you come here to do? Well, why are you here? What's going on? Whoa. To help you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. Give me the muse. I'll take it. I will take it. Is he just putting hey, the news in um, a trash can? Sorry he about he just threw it that. Uh, I think I'm coming down with something. Sorry, right, man. Uh, I'll clean it up. Uh, but you should probably go though. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll go. Um, sorry. He again. just threw it up. Just, just. See the day for night. 
Well, the night for day. You, th- you it's, no, not, it's not daytime anymore. They're making it seem like it's. That looks like lights through the window and not sunshine. It's like they, you know, they filmed too late. Yeah, she gave it to him. He gave it to her. He gave it to him. him. How are you feeling? Like my stomach just got pumped. You'll feel better soon. She's a sneaky. I wouldn't trust her. She gave it to him. Yeah. He gave it to him. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. I don't know how to feel about what I did. I get it. But you did the right thing. And soon you won't have to worry about your muse at all. Escaped. Yeah, go find that film, my boy. Man, it'll, it'll, go find that film, me boy. <laughs> it'll be hard as hell if it was me and that bitch and it was all as old as me. I was like, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, Alex, we need to do that. Oh my God. Turn it up. Thanks again for, you know, talking me through all this, um, glad I don't have to deal with it on my own anymore. Yeah, I mean, I get how weird it all is. See you. Yeah, she gave it to you, buddy. You must have given someone else a muse too, right? Did you give me my muse? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You needed help. I knew it. It worked. Of course. <clears throat> of course. Good night, Victoria. It never oh, lived. God. It never. It never left. It It never left. Well Well done. done. That's great. Hey, man, click the next video. And while you there, subscribe, you doofus merch.